Because I smoke. I live in California. They legalized it. Yeah. Yeah. I got my little fake medical marijuana card. Yeah, I walked in the doctor's office, just fake limping, twitching my right eye, like, and The doctor was like, sir, you need medical marijuana. I was like, thank you, master. Thank you. They deliver it to my house, like Domino's fucking pizza. They do. Greenlead.com, speedweed.com. You go on the, I swear to God, you go on the website, you get, you just, they got, there's a little fucking list of things you can, you know, little categories. You go to the weed category, you're like, oh, I want the fucking purple kush, and give me two grams of the fucking Smokey Robinson, or whatever the hell. Right? And then 30 minutes later, a fucking black dude with dreadlocks wearing a nurse outfit shows up with a fucking bag. And you give him your cash, he'll take a fucking credit card and throw it on his square, boom, boom, he's gone. You open up the bag, your weed's in there, it's all vacuum sealed and professionally fucking packed. They throw in a couple pre-rolled, nicely pre-rolled joints, a little fucking glass tube. Oh, I'll save you this one for a nice occasion, right? They throw in a bunch of edibles, they give you like a bunch of gummy bear edibles and chocolate edibles. I don't fuck with the edibles. Fuck the edibles. Edibles. Well, who, who, who thought of that? Me. Yeah, well, you must, I can't do it. I like to smoke weed. <clears throat> you know, you're fucking high. You take an edible, you're like, I can't move my hand. I don't want to be like Stephen Hawking for 18 hours. I just don't, I want to be mobile. I want to move around. <laughs> The only time you should take an edible is if you're flying to Australia, all right? That's an 18-hour flight. I've done it before. You rock an edible. You wake up, you're in fucking Australia. <laughs> Forget that it's legal. It's a plant that grows from the earth. The good Lord put it here. We didn't put the shit here. Yeah, but she couldn't get her fucking head around that. So I had to... Sit her, because I told her, it's bigger than us. It's spiritual, it's religious, it's bigger than us. I don't know what you're fucking talking about. You show me proof. I had to whip out the Bible and explain to her the story of Moses and the burning bush. <laughs> Fuck me. You guys know the story? You, act, you look like you don't know the story. I'll explain it to you. It's real basic. It's in the Bible, the Torah, it's even in the Quran. It's believed that God spoke to Moses through a burning bush. <laughs> they wrote it in three different religions. Yeah, I believe the bush was burning, and perhaps it was burning because Moses was fucking smoking it. That's why. <laughs> what? They say he came down the mountain with a glazed look on his face. Uh, no wonder he was lost in the desert for 40 fucking years. 